Hi, it's Werner again. You ask if you should connect your device directly to a battery or through a voltage regulator. There are several parameters to consider. Uh, we'll use a simple use case with an Arduino Pro Mini based device flashing an LED in this example. In order to decide how to power our system, we first need to understand the load it presents. This device is based on an AVR microcontroller running at 8 MHz. The supply voltage requirement for this would be 3.3 to 5.5 volts. Three alkaline cells in series will be within this range. Let's start by measuring without the voltage regulator. Uh, to visualize the current consumption as a function of input voltage, I'm using a small script to step through voltages from 4.8 volts down to 3.3 volts. As we can see, the current is dropping as the voltage drops, uh, reaching 3.3 volts there. Uh, let's connect it through a linear regulator. And I'm also connecting the output of the regulator to the ADC plus pin of the OTI arc so we can see and monitor the regulator output. This is the current consumption. And we can see that it's now a linear regulator consuming the same amount of uh, current all the way down to roughly 3.6 volts here when we're losing regulation, uh, which means that the cutoff is now somewhere between 3.6 and 3.7 volts instead of 3.3, which means that none of these solutions will be able to fully deplete these three alkaline cells to 0.8 volt per cell. We need a different approach for that. That's it for today. Stay tuned for a follow up video where we look at a third option using a DC DC converter. To be featured, ask your question in the Koitec forum.